is up everybody, Dutch with D-Box Games, and today is the best day ever. I hope everybody's having a fantastic morning, because this is seriously the best morning ever. Even though it's raining on me, which is unfortunate, we got two new patches today. We got patch 1.39, and oh my freaking gosh, patch 1.40. If you did not watch my video from yesterday where I did my top 10 wish list, you gotta go check that out because my dreams came true today. We got eight out of my top 10 and even more. I believe that we got 17 total Pokemon in this. So we're gonna go over patch 1.39 first. The Pokemon added were Honage, Dual Blade, Aegislash, Ralts, Aurorus, Sandshrew, Shuckle, Dartrix, and Aggron. Now, the evolution line was added for Honage, so it does evolve into Dual Blade and then Aegislash, and we'll do that later. Also, these are all rideable now, and they also made Bellsprout, Houndoom, Mew, Palkia, and Groudon rideable, which is what we've been asking for since day one. Now we just have to wait for Garatina, and it's gonna be the best. Also fixed, Houndoom's attacks, Garatina's inventory, Articuna's attack, Ninetales riding, which is what we needed because before you had to jump off with Spacebar, Pidgeot's riding, edited Scyther, which is awesome, edited Articuno's speed, Dragonite's speed, also edited the ocean spawn rate, which Gyarados's are insane right now if anybody hasn't seen that, and a bunch of other small fixes. So really quick, we're gonna run over the 1.39 Pokemon, and then we will move on to the grand finale with 1.40. So we're gonna start down here with Sandshrew. I'm trying not to look to the right to give too much away, but Sandshrew is looking pretty awesome, pretty perfect. He has a little slice attack, a little jump. Again, I can't look right, so we're just gonna hop out of there. Now this is Pokemon Evolve Shuckle. There was a Shuckle in here before, but that was Arkmon's, the one that Cheese made. This one's made by Mystic Academy Pokemon Evolved. A lot of people have been trying to get that confused. This is definitely Pokemon Evolved, where you actually get to become the Pokemon. This is 10 million times better. I love being able to become the Pokemon. It's so much cooler than riding the Pokemon, and it can also be used for proper battles. Next up, we have Ralts, which eventually will become a Gardevoir. Can't wait to get a Gardevoir in there. It's a little weird. You can see that my hair is kind of sticking out of Ralts sometimes, but I'm sure that'll be fixed as soon as possible. This is still day one. Oh my god, I'm so happy about getting Dartrix. I'm kind of surprised that we didn't get the lower evolution first with Rowlet, but getting Dartrix is super cool because that means eventually we're gonna get Decidueye and I can't wait. Anyone that doesn't know Decidueye or Rowlet or Dartrix, they're from the new Sun and Moon starters, so go check that stuff out if you haven't seen Sun and Moon, it's amazing. So hopefully with Dartrix coming in here, we're gonna see a lot more Sun and Moon Pokemon. You can jump around, but you can't fly just yet with Dartrix. And its main attack is just flying up and kicking, which is pretty neat. Now we've seen Aurora's from Arkmon before. This is Pokemon Evolve's version. This one looks like it's a little weird on the textures. Again, this is brand spanking new. So I'm sure this is gonna get updated. So for now, it's a little bit weird on the textures and definitely a little too small. Next up, we have Agron looking super cool. Hopefully, like I've said before, we're gonna get those Mega Evolutions soon so we get a Mega Agron. You can jump in here. You have a kind of horn attack or headbutt, if you will. You can run around, jump, and it's pretty awesome. Wow, this guy looks good today. Okay, let's go over here. Now, these are the ones I was kind of most excited about because they look so awesome. We have Honage, Dual Blade, Aegislash. So the things I like about these is that when you actually click and you get into them, they change. For instance, Honage, when it's riding around, it actually puts the sword up, but then when you attack, it pulls it out kind of slashes around. I thought that was super cool and I can't wait to actually evolve these into the next evolution. Next we have Dual Blade. See it dancing around and then puts itself back up. Now I will be making an individual episode on most of these for my series that I do where I'll actually be leveling these up and evolving them. So if you want to see these evolve, just wait till the episodes come out. So last but not least we have Age of Slash looking super awesome sword and shield. Really freaking cool. So that's pretty much it for these. I just wanted to briefly go over them because we have so much from 4.0 to go over that I'm just too excited and I don't want this video to drag on for too long. So let's go check out 4.0. Oh my god, everybody. I am freaking out right now. I am freaking out. Yesterday, literally just yesterday, I posted my top 10 wish list for Pokemon and Ark, and literally Mystic Evolve made it true the very next day. I got 8 out of the 10 that I picked, 
We're starting off with Latias and Latios. This is freaking amazing. I have been wanting these for so long because pterodactyls are fast and we have tons of birds in here, but I really wanted these two. It is going to be so awesome racing around on these. I'm definitely going to be making a series on each one of these Pokemon. And for Latios and Latios, I'm definitely gonna be bringing Annie in where we race these around the island, upgrade their speed, and just hang out. Really quick, we're just gonna jump on Latios. Fly around, look how quick this thing is, and this has not been leveled up once. I haven't done anything to this, and it's already this quick. Has that one main attack. None of them have two attacks just yet, but that one main attack is really awesome. Oh my god, I am so in love with these. The models on them look perfect. They look super smooth and awesome. I really, really love these new Pokemon. Next up, we have Cresselia and Darkrai. Now, so many people commented on wanting Darkrai. We had quite a few people, and I also put Cresselia in there because they're actually perfect opposites, just like we talked about from the video from yesterday. So it's super exciting that we actually got both of them. I'm so happy that Pokemon Evolve is listening to us and actually putting them in as pairs and not just giving us one. I love that. Now on these, they hover just like they should. They have one main attack and they can kind of fly around and they're actually pretty quick. I'm kind of in love with Cresselia, it's pretty awesome. Plus, I'm just a huge Psychic fan, so I have to like that one. Now Darkrai, I'm a little weirded out that it has legs. I know that sometimes it pulls those two shadow things out, but I'm pretty sure that I read that it doesn't actually have legs, so I kind of think that we don't need those. I think it'd be better off if we just took those out and let it hover with this little fog cloud at the bottom and just kept it like that, but besides that, this is perfect. Oh my god, all these are perfect. I love it so much. Seriously. And maybe with the legs, it's just a, if I push spacebar that those two little stilts come down, and then if I push spacebar again to, to fly out, that they just kind of go away. I think I'd enjoy that a little bit more. Darkrai has his one main attack, hoping that we see a right click and a C from these in the future. Okay, for the next Pokemon, I know y'all have seen it, but this is seriously has to be one of my favorites that was added. It's Ho-Oh. Now this one was actually added last night because we were all on the Pokemon Evolved Discord. If you haven't joined that, you should go join that right now. But Mystic Academy actually put a contest on there where we had to pick a number and Ham the GD actually won that contest and picked Ho-Oh as the Pokemon that he chose to get added. And I am so happy. Ham the GD, GG on picking this Pokemon. This is so awesome. It's probably the best one I've seen. Ho-Oh is definitely going to replace my Quetzal. I'm going to be pumping this sucker full of weight and I'm going to start using this to farm all my metal and obsidian and everything like that because this is so awesome. I love that it looks like it has kind of like ashes pulling off the bird. This is so amazing looking. Can you just imagine flying around the island on this and someone seeing you flying overhead? This would be so amazing. This is seriously, this is the best. This is the best one added to this mod. The model on this is simply perfect. Simply perfect. Moving on. Oh, I just can't get over that one. Moving on, we have Entei. This is another one. All of these were from my top 10 list. That's why I put them out like this. And Entei looks so good. Look at how the smoke bellows from its back like a volcano. This is perfect. I love it. And I've always thought that Entei's face kind of reminds me of like a samurai mask, even with the long hair coming down the sides. It's so cool. Now we just need Suikin because we already have Ryoku. So having these two is so perfect. Also, we don't talk too much about this, but down there in some of my past videos, you might have seen it in the background, but I'm actually making my own version of the burning towers. So it's gonna be really awesome. And I'll make that video as soon as I get Suikin in here. Oh, second to last, we have literally one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. I am a huge Psychic and Ghost fan, and this is both. Psychic and Ghost Lunala has finally been added. Thank you so much, Mystic Academy. Seriously, thank you so much for making this Pokemon. Now, I don't know if I got a shiny version randomly, but Lunala is actually supposed to be purple. So if this is just how it is, I really hope that Mystic Academy makes this one purple and adds in the eyes, the eyes have not been added in, but it's also brand spanking new. This thing looks so amazing and is huge. 
I think this is a perfect size. If you didn't check out the last video, I actually put in the size for every single one of these Pokemon. So if you think one of these is not sized right, make sure you go check that video out because I'm pretty sure these are perfectly sized. Now lastly, we have Hoopa. Oh my god, again, one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. Check him out, he's so adorable. He has to be one of the most adorable ones added to this mod. Now he does have his one attack, but you can only use this attack while flying if you push spacebar and sit on the ground. You actually can't use any of his attacks. I thought that was a little strange. Now I'm wondering, will we get Hoopa Unbound soon? And will it be my dream come true that I just get to level up this Hoopa 40 times and then choose to evolve it into a Hoopa Unbound. I'd like to find out if that's going to happen because that would be amazing. Now that would be kind of crazy because Hoopa is one of the biggest Pokemon that I've come across. I think measuring out around 21 feet 9 inches. I'd have to go back and check that last video. Now, I saved flying around on Lunala for last because it's definitely the one I wanted to end the video on. Because it's the one that I was the most excited about. Check that out. I love that the wings actually flap. Now... I'm not too crazy about the giant ring around it. I could kind of do without it. It wouldn't really bother me. But I definitely hope that Lunala gets the eyes put in with the little stars on the forehead. And I hope that it gets colored purple. But I'm not complaining because seriously, oh my god. This is the one attack for it. It swoops forward looking amazing. I'm hoping that the right click or C shoots out with the Moongeist beam where basically it's going to be a giant purple beam coming out of the middle. Now I think that might not be too hard on Mystic Evolve because they do have the Mewtwo that has the Hyper Beam coming out, kind of like the Gyarados. We've seen that beam from Pokemon Evolved in the past, so I'm hoping that we get that added on on these Pokemon in the future. But these are amazing. I'm so excited about this. Everyone, if y'all are excited about these Pokemon, make sure you smash that like button to show your support for Pokemon Evolve. And make sure you share this video. And if you'd like to see these Pokemon in more detail, stay tuned for future videos where I'm going to be taking out Latias, Latias, all of these Pokemon, and teach you how to use these in Arc Survival Evolved and show you how much fun they can actually be when put to good use. So as always, don't forget to subscribe for more Pokemon Evolved content. And until next time, everybody, later!